Are back again it's talking still a little March Madness. March oh Madness. yes, it's time for some March Madness it's again. Time for March Madness. On our last video we did a little recap on of the, the round of 64. 64. Today we're going to jump up to the round of 32. We had 16 delicious scrumptious games. Oh yes. Man, don't you, don't you love March Madness? Oh yes, it's just a fantastic time of the year. It's a fantastic it's time of year. It's fever, baby. When you can sit and just go from channel to channel, there's like four channels and you just flick between them and you get to watch commercials on four different channels. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. How can you how can you go to four different channels and watch commercials? But anyways, we'll get there's, it seems like there was commercial on. But never mind. We'll we'll jump right into this round of 32 because it because they were some very interesting games. Very good game. First of all, we had Nova Purdue. Oh my goodness, that was Nova just... was the defending champion, but Purdue took care of them. They they hit Easily. 16 threes in that game. Oh yeah, that they're going to be a handful for anybody. 16 in the threes. Tournament. That was that was that that was something. Boilermaker strong. Boilermaker strong. Yeah. Uh, Boilermakers. I know someone who actually goes there personally. Yes, yes. <laughs> but we're not fans of the Boilermakers right now. Yeah, you I know. know. <laughs> Drew Brees went there. Yep. He's a Boilermaker. I'm talking football, but anyway. Yeah, but, yeah, it's it's sports, though. It's, yeah. It's appropriate. Yeah. Uh, we had Auburn, Kansas. Talk about another overkill. Um, Auburn just ran Kansas over. Yeah, Auburn squeaked through round one, 78 to 77. They took out their frustration on by. Kansas. And on Kansas, they dominated from, I mean, 89 to 89 to 75 we didn't even tell ten, you how much they dominated them. Ten it should have been pointers. It should have been 100 to 53 as, as much as they dominated Kansas. Oh, Auburn. They never, ever had a chance in that game. Ever. Because it was Auburn, never, ever close. If you watched the game, you saw Auburn push the pace and drill tons of threes. They just ran over them. Now, that might have been Auburn's best game. They may go into the next game and flop like a dead animal or something. <laughs> but they destroyed Kansas, dude. they got a really like a pesky truck. team this year. They ran I can them. see them making a Final Four appearance if... If they uh, keep this going. If they can keep their mo going, yeah. The the trouble is sometimes you have a game like that, you run out of mo because you used every bit of it. But you never know. They could be on fire and use that fire cruising right on into the final four. You don't know. Yeah, that you never know. That's the beautiful teams. thing. Of, that's the oh, beautiful yes, thing that's about a basketball. Wonderful thing. Speaking of beautiful basketball, Iowa, Tennessee. Uh, okay, let's tell us a little story about this one. Anxiety attack through the end of the game into overtime. Tennessee was up 25 points. And choked it away. In the first half. Up 21 points at halftime and tied at the end of regulation. They almost choked that game almost away. Almost choked that game away. But they went into, they went into overtime. And, and dominated. And Grant Williams went. And just... No, it was took over a, at that Took care point. of the Hawkeyes. He, just, he threw Tennessee up on his back. I'm going to give Iowa the full credit. Man, to not give to be down 21 points at halftime and not give up, that, that is you a well good coached. team. That is a good coach team. That's a good team, strong team. You you can't say nothing bad about, uh, against Iowa. Well, good luck next year, guys. Yeah, that was an ex a statically great played game, really. I mean, it oh, was. Oh, yeah. That's what Mark I think I lost have. five years off my life. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a really good game, though. It was it was a really good game. I had Washington, North Carolina, not even close, son. The defense that they showed against Utah State did not carry over to their match against North Carolina. 81 to 59. They got destroyed. <laughs> they got crushed. <laughs> like a Coke can, dude. They got healed. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, good one there. I see what you did there with the Tar Heels. <laughs> they got the heel put down on them. Yeah, them Huskies got the heel. <laughs> uh, now this is this uh, this next game is the controversial game of the tournament probably so far. Okay. Uh, UCF Duke. Dear, okay. Ninety nine percent of the people that I've talked to said that Zion <laughs> fouled somebody going into the end. Okay. But, that but ending of that game was filled with so much, so controversy. much controversy. Duke won seventy-seven to, to seventy-six. They barely survived it. Now UCF was up seventy-six to seventy-three, with ten seconds left. I think eleven seconds left. Eleven seconds left. And uh, Zion drove in, 
Drew a charge. Drew a charge when a lot of, a lot of people, people I've talked to said, says he ran over some people to get to that. He, he fouled before. But he hit the shot and then missed the extra point to tie it. Missed the extra free throw and then R.J. But, Barrett. But there was a hook and hold and another hold by two Duke players to let R.J. Barrett get the rebound and put it back in for the for, for the win. A lot of people are saying that Duke got away with three fouls in 11 seconds to win that game. But they won it. But Can't say crap about it. Mike K. Coach K is the best coach in college basketball. In, in, in my opinion, Downright. he is the best coach in college basketball. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with – yeah, he's the king of college coaches. He is, yeah. I think five championships. I don't think that will give you enough evidence. No. He was he is incredible. Uh, what is the next game? On we had our... Buffalo Texas Tech, one um, twenty points. And Texas Tech think. shipped that Buffalo back to the farm. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Texas took care of the Buffaloes, and uh, just, just Buffalo like they, just, like just like they did in the old days, they took care of them. Now. <laughs> Buffalo just lost their head coach. Yeah. To Alabama. Yep. So well, uh, uh, what about Avery? Man, Avery's uh, well, he coach just, of the uh, year in the NBA to kicked out of Alabama. <laughs> That's a sad room. Yeah, that's just yeah, that's not really. We it. had Liberty Virginia Tech. Liberty gave Virginia Tech. That was a heck of a game too. All they man. can handle. All they can handle. Uh, Virginia Tech won by nine. Virginia Tech uh, pulled away at the end. Yeah. But well, they've got a interesting matchup upcoming this weekend. That is going to be interesting. Yeah, we had Oklahoma Virginia A. Eh? Uh, and Virginia is starting to 12. pull into that. Uh, Classic style of play. They play slow. Mm-hmm. They play a little. They play defense they, first. And and a lot of perimeter ball. And a lot of perimeter ball, which they're good at. But they can lose at that just as easy. If they have a bad shooting night, they can go. Uh, out the uh, tourney. Uh, and again, the unspoken teams, uh, Houston, o- Ohio State, Houston won by 15. Houston dominated that game, too. It never was much of a game. Oh, yeah. That Houston is one of those teams. I think they're like Virginia Part 2. Mm-hmm. They specialize on defense and three-point shooting. Yeah. And then lastly, we had UC Irvine, Oregon. Oregon won by 19. That, that it never was a was battle much of a between game either, the 12 yeah. and the 13. Mm-hmm. And the 12 uh, got the little magic going on, and that seeds Oregon. You want to go ahead and do some predictions for the Sweet 16 since we're doing this? Um, oh, sure. Oh, Let's do let's let's predict some Sweet Sixteen because Sweet Sixteen is coming on tomorrow night. So let's do a little predictions for it. We got a little extra time. Oh yes, we got some time, baby. We're gonna have a bonus round. Yeah, bonus round, bonus basketball, baby. Everybody <laughs> loves bonus basketball. Okay, uh, we got eight games. First, we got uh, Florida State Gonzaga. That's Man. going to be a good game. First of all, this round of sixteen is the lowest total round. I think in ever, and I know at least twenty something years. I, th- I I think it's ever because you've got a four versus a one, a three two, a three two, a, a twelve one, three uh, three two five one four one three two. That's never happened before. No, those those are the <laughs> lowest total numbers. I mean, there's one twelve seed in, and everybody else is a five and up. Yeah, that's crazy. This gonna make for some. Fantastic basketball, man. My Fantastic goodness. basketball, So, man. Florida State, Gonzaga, who do you think you got in that one? What does your heart say? What does your brain say? <laughs> Florida State. Florida State. I'm going I'm to call the upset, dude. Florida State is playing men, man-sized basketball right now. I've been watching them for, for about the last month or so. They look pretty good. Oh, they look like a good basketball team. They Florida look like State really looks like a team. very good basketball team. So, I'm, I'm going to take the first number one to go down. Florida we'll be, State we'll is going a, to go to the Elite Eight. That's our prediction. Yeah, so I'm picking the first number one to go down will be Gonzaga. And then we jump into Purdue, to Purdue, Tennessee. Tennessee's favored by one point. I think Tennessee's going to win this game. And, I, and I'm biased. I love Tennessee. But, but in terms of, like, uh, overall team play, mm-hmm. who do you think would be better, Purdue or Tennessee? Tennessee. Tennessee's good top, top to bottom. The five they put on the floor, they could lose one of them and still beat you. They've got some good quality, and you, you, and you bring Bowden off the bench. Who's the, who's a who's a better number six than Bowden in the country? Uh, I, not very many. Uh, that's what I'm talking not about. Not very many. So from one to six, Tennessee is strong. So veteran so team too. If you know, like like they won the they won the last game with Grant Williams having like five six points in the in the first half. They don't, and they're up at twenty one at halftime. So they don't need 
all of their players to play at top notch to win. They just need to play team they ball. Just, they, they play team ball, and that's the best thing they do. So they are a junior and senior laden team. So, so we're picking but Tennessee. Purdue's not a team you should really look over either. They got oh, no, Carson Edwards, no, no, who no. laid at 42 on if, Villanova. If Purdue did win this, it wouldn't completely shock me, but I think Tennessee should win. And I'm thinking, I don't think it'll be 10, but I think it'll be 7 to 10, something like that. We got Texas Tech, Michigan. Who 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 do you got in that one? I've got the Wolverines. Me too. I think the Wolverines. Again, I'm picking the Wolverines. I think I've the Wolverines. I've got that feeling about Michigan. They are they are an elite eight team. Uh, yeah. They are an elite team. Period. Mm. Well, Jim, at, at John Bayline is a great coach. At one point this year, they were on fire enough to maybe be number one. They were getting some number one votes. Till they hit a thud. Now they hit a little thud there, but I think they're I think they're back on it now. And we, and we got uh, Oregon. Virginia. Okay. Oregon has held each of their last uh, two opponents to under 55 points. Do you think do they'll you, do that to Oregon? Do you think they'll do it to Virginia? Okay. Uh, your prediction. I'm going to... I'm going to be bold. I'm picking the Ducks. You're picking I'm Oregon. I'm picking Oregon to go down, baby. You're picking Oregon. Uh, I think two number ones go down in the round of 16. Oh, you you're picking Oregon, Oregon yep. to beat Virginia in the Sweet Sixteen. Yep, I think two. No, I think two go down. I th- I'll say I, there may be three with number ones go down in the round of sixteen, but I'm picking the Ducks. Quack, quack. They will pull a truck. The this, quack pack. They will pull a truck. Oh, time. nice little meta reference there. Yeah, I like that, don't you? Uh, and then we'll get into LSU, Michigan, Michigan State. Um, your prediction. I like LSU on that one, but I'm going Michigan State. Yeah, well, in our mind, uh, LSU may be a more well, well-rounded well team that's got a lot of length. They can mm, really they got a lot of rent. But Michigan State, Michigan State is, is a, the better team. It's the better team. Uh, and, and I think the better... And, of course, they got Tom Izzo. When, you, when you've got the better coach and the better team, I think the better coach can figure out how to beat the athleticism on, a, on another team. And that's why we think Tom Izzo's I Michigan think, State Spartans. I think, I think there's going to be two Michigan teams in the Elite Eight. Well, Michigan's having a fun, Michigan, goofy time. Mississippi State's sitting, uh, Mississippi's sitting at home going, Ugh, and Michigan's got two teams in there. <laughs> we got Auburn, North 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 Carolina. I think this is where Auburn's run ends. Well, ends. Yeah, because North Carolina, they got Roy Williams, an, another yeah. veteran coach. I um, think North Carolina will be the number one to, 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 still be alive. to still be alive in this tournament, yeah. Definitely. We got Virginia Tech, Duke. Okay, that's going to be an interesting one. That will be an in- interesting one. Uh, because uh, the tide <coughs> will turn based on how Zion plays. Yeah, I'll probably lean lean Duke's way in, in that one. Because, well, yeah, they got their superstars, yeah. freshmen. Uh, it would, I, I could be very wrong on this one. Virginia may come in and win by 10. Tech in. But they Virginia may. Tech may Virginia come Tech in may by come, 10. may come in by 10. But Duke, on paper, should, Duke should win this. So we'll they got Duke's the better way. coach, obviously, mm-hmm. but uh, um, do you think uh, Virginia Tech has enough in the tank to defeat Duke? That's what might kill them, is they might run out of juice. They might not be able to hold. They might get up 10 or 15 points and then lose by three at the end because they just can't hold on at the end, and Duke's a, f- a two-half team. They play full board. Consistent. Consistent, good basketball. Where Virginia Tech's a little... Mm-hmm, Wishy-washy. Yeah, so... Uh, the last one we got Houston, Kentucky. That's gonna be an interesting one. Not only because they have logo copycats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Their logos look almost the same, except for their <laughs> except different, for different colors. colors. Different colors. Uh, I'm gonna pick another upset. I'm gonna. I'm You're going, picking Houston. I'm going Houston, man. They didn't impress me against Wofford. They but, did not impress me too much against Wofford. Well, but maybe because PJ Washington the, was out. The yeah, they did and. P.J. Washington may be out for this game. Well, he's the core facet of the offense. Mm, I think even if he's back with with the injury he's got, I don't know if he'll be. They may not be. They may be rusty mm-hmm. on and, offense. And Houston played the last game. Crushed the team. So. They'll be a tough matchup. Mm, I'm so you're, going, you I'm say going Houston. Houston. Yeah, I'm going Houston. And that is the end. That is the end of the uh, the round of 32 and the sweet 16
We added some Sweet 16 picks in there just to, just to have fun. When the Sweet 16's over, we'll 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 do a little re recap on the Sweet 16, and then maybe do a pick for the Elite, Elite Eight. Eight. Elite Eight. So so be sure and check out with us. Have some fun with us. This is all just fun. Oh yeah, That's it's fun all with just us. Goofy hit the hit fun. Hit, hit the like a button, the share button, hit the groovy baby the button, the subscribe button, hit the groovy baby button, and we'll check you again for March Madness. See you next week.